Yeah, come on. Yes, sir. Your buddy behind you, he bailed out so quick. He must have thought I'm the, the lawman. Well, since you guys are all rolling together here, I might as well talk to the bunch of you. I'll start with this last truck. Why don't you just go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and uh, tell me about the truck you're running. People love to hear what guys got for uh, running gear and everything, so why don't you tell me what you got there? Okay, what I got here is a 98 Kenworth, long nose, uh, good running truck, got a 10 speed in it, 500 cat, runs good. Roger that, how long have you been trucking for? Oh, I started trucking when, back in the 70s when I was in the military. And uh, after I got out in 86, I've uh, been pretty much doing it ever since. We'll let people know who you are. Might as well give you some credit for all that hard work there, right? I go by the handle of Mushroom. 10 4 Mushroom. Pleasure meeting you on the highway here. Truck number three, why don't you go ahead and tell me who you are there on the radio and uh, what you're running. Uh, been midnight for as long as I can remember. I'm driving a 2003 W900 with a 550 Cat 13 speed. I've uh, been driving since I was 20 years old in 81, so I've been doing this a long time. And uh, tell me what type of trailer that is that, uh, that you guys are running and uh, what type of commodity are you pulling? Called belly dumps, dump out the bottom, and we're hauling uh, clay from a mine over in Arizona to Berlin, New Mexico. Over here, uh, make a trip a day, every day. Roger that. Well, appreciate you being out here on the road. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Going up here to truck number two in the lineup. Uh, tell me what you got, and uh, what do you go by on the radio, and uh, you'll know the whole nine yards there. Oh, uh, this is the newest one of our little creations here. 2000 W9 550 ISX, running 13. We call me Dana Jim. Been driving eh, a little over 20 years. Not better than the world. 10 4. Now, uh, are you guys uh, running for the same company or owner operators? Uh, let me know what's going on there in that respect. Well, we are with. GK Page Transport. Um, Greg Page is our boss. He's been driving longer than all of us. We also have a, uh, a reefer side that we uh, play with plants, nursery stuff. And uh, number one on the lineup here, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'll have to laugh a little bit and the rest of the the audience may get a chuckle too when I rolled up on you guys the first time. Uh, truck number number two backed out of it pretty quick. Uh, uh, didn't mean to scare you guys, but I'm glad you jumped on the 19 to uh, get a hold of me there. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, uh, uh, My name is Dustin. I go by a little hauler sometimes. Got that from that third truck back there. That's my dad. Uh, been around this my whole life. I've been driving now for about five years. Roger that. How come they stick you up here in the front? Oh, this one right here, I usually run this clay load. Most of these other guys are uh, the over the road guys. I do this clay load every day, so I just kind of do it because I got the system down to how we do it. So that's just basically why I stay in the front. The guy that was running this truck before uh, retired this year. 10 4, I hear you. I like to ask guys, uh, like, what's, uh, what's unique about this area, trucking wise? <laughs> well, New Mexico is the only state that has USA. On a license plate, that should tell you something. The one thing about different about running this state is uh, it's a little more open. I mean, in some states, and there's uh, not as many big cities in New Mexico. Uh, you can run 75 north or south either way you go. You know, the further, further east you go, it's 70 mile an hour, and further west and north you go, it's you know 70 or uh, 55 in some states like California. So that's the one thing nice about it. It's big, open, and 75 all the way across the interstate. Right on, so you can get out here and stretch the legs on the truck, set the cruise control, and uh, have a good old ride there, right? Sir, that's what we try to do every day. We try to run about 71 to 
uh, average pretty good fuel mileage on this run, but uh, when we run them reefer runs or running down into Lubbock picking up feed or uh, stuff like that, we'll run 74, 75, but here it's just a day in and day out deal and there ain't no time on it, so we just kind of take our time at it doing 71. Well, that's pretty cool. You said there's no time. There's, so it's not like you got a uh, bump of docking. You got a uh, appointment time and whatnot. So that's got to be pretty, pretty nice and relaxing. Uh, Weather-wise, what are you guys up against uh, throughout the year in terms of trucking across here? Pretty laid back most of the year. Uh, this morning we ran into some pretty good fog over there at uh, Acoma at the 102. Uh, but other than that, man, it's usually pretty nice. I mean, there's snow towards the end of the year once in a while, but we. The main thing we got to compete with is the rain over there at the state line where we pick up this clay at because if it rains out there, we can't uh, get out there at the trucks. It's too, it's too mucky, and uh, even with the power divider on, you have to get a loader to get us out of there. So we just take the day off when that happens. Yeah, 10-4. Now, what, uh, what's done with this clay? Um, you're hauling it over there somewhere. What's going to happen when you drop it off? This clay that we're using is that uh, do not eat tablet that you see in uh, uh, various stuff to keep dry. Pretty much that stuff. That's pretty interesting. We get over here to Berlin to Clarion, and uh, they process it and send it to uh, different little companies all over the world to make those little tablets and uh, that type of, uh, you know, product. Give you a little blast of the train horns as we go on by here. Yeah, and we'll bring it on by. Well, that'll make for a nice little video to throw out there on the internet. And so I appreciate you guys, and uh, you have a good one. I appreciate you, buddy. You're getting out there and showing people what something what truck is about. Yeah, man, for sure.